Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to customize your toolbar in Fusion. So let's check it out. All right, so when that machine is over now on the Fusion page and here as you can see I have the default toolbar, but we can right click on it and here as you can see I have one that is shape. So I've created my own shape bar. So whenever I'm using shapes, I can just switch to that and then just drag from there whatever I need. To create your own toolbar, you can just right click on it, customize, and here you can just create toolbar. Then you can just name it whatever you want. So here we're gonna go with essentials and then hit enter. By default, it will just duplicate the toolbar that you get visible at the moment where you create the new toolbar. So here, as you can see, just duplicated the shapes into essentials. So now we can just remove whatever we want to remove by just right clicking on the icon, customize, and here we can just remove S and Gone, for example. To go quicker, you can also delete it group. A group is whatever is separated by a divider. So here, if I just right click here, customize, and then that will be remove this group. So that will be the shape group that I've created right there. Now same for this side, if I were to right click it, customize and remove group, it will just delete everything. Now to bring new tool in your bar, you have two way. You can either just reach directly here from the effects and just bring that and drop them in your toolbar or you can just hit shift space on your keyboard, search for whatever uh, node that you use often, just press enter and then bring whatever node you have in your node working area to the toolbar and you will just add it up right here. To add divider, you can just go wherever you want to add the divider, right click, customize, add divider and it will just add the divider between the two icons. Note that it just doesn't work uh, when you click at the end. So here if I were to try to add a divider right here, nothing will happen. It needs to be in between two icons. But then you're just free to move the icon around and add the divider at the end if you wish so. As you just saw, we can easily move all the icons around by drag and dropping them. But if you want to lock the toolbar so it's not possible to move them around, you can do that by right clicking and here clicking locked. So now, as you can see, I cannot move that around anymore. You can easily switch between bar by right clicking and here selecting whatever bar uh, you want to use. If you want to rename a bar, you can just go to whichever bar you want to rename, click it and then right click it again customize and here rename essential and you can just swap that right there to delete the bar you can just right click go to customize and here remove demo which is the current bar that i had visible so that's just a great way to stay efficient in fusion and to quickly find what you need you could make a bar for 3d camera for particles for motion graphics etc etc i hope this video was helpful please don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one bye Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transitions, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.